This is Gang Girl the Vampire Warrior. I want to give a big shout out to everybody watching Video Game XD and the Powercast Progression. That's right. Want some, get some, bad enough, take some. Man, yeah. <laughs> You're watching the Video Game XD and the Powercast Progression. Keep fanging and gaming, baby. Or I would say fanging and banging, but you can keep fanging and gaming. <laughs> you baby want a blood blast and tell them Gang Girl said so. <laughs> What up, everybody? Welcome back to the Powercast Progression Radio with Power. Tonight on the Powercast, we got my buddy uh, Jacob coming uh, with us tonight here on the Powercast. We're going to be talking a little bit about uh, almost like an interview, basically, about AEW, uh, WWE, WWF, what he's into, what started him as a wrestling fan. Um, I know him a little bit. I've talked to him online before. He seems like a really good guy. And we're going to invite him right here on the show to talk some wrestling. Wrestling. Can you hear me? Hey, what's up? What's going on? How's it going, bro? Same old, same old. You ever go on uh, StreamYard before? No, not really. I haven't been on there in like years, so I don't know how how much it's changed. So, yeah, it can be a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to download uh, Messenger on my PC and it didn't work. So, yeah, most people just use their uh, phones for it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So I wanted to do a little interview with you today. Okay. So, uh, when did you be, uh, become a wrestling fan, bro? So, I became a wrestling fan when I was younger, probably like five or six, because my mom started watching wrestling with me and stuff like that. We would see all these old matches and stuff, and my mom really got me into it, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it was great, honestly. Was it like WWE or... Yeah, it was WWE. Because I, I know you're you're a lot younger than me. You, what, what are you, 22? Yeah. Okay, so that was back in what, like 07 or something? Yeah. I got a buddy, Jalen. He's, he's around your age. He's younger. How old is he? Uh, I want to say he's like 26, 25. Oh, that ain't too bad. I'm an old fart, though. I'm like fucking 34. I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> You're an old fart? <laughs> I'm a fucking attitude boomer kid. Attitude era boomer. I'm that uh, pussified era, you know, like, seriously. Hey, it's all good. We all grow up in different eras. It's all good. Yeah. I just can't believe what happened to... Um... Darby Allen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He took that big leap at Revolution. Yeah, he did. He, I mean, he got thrown through a bunch of tables, I heard. Yeah, it, it was like uh, light tubes, I believe, or glass. It was nuts. It looked like he was bleeding all over the place. It looked like a murder scene. That was crazy. <laughs> that was some like deathmatch shit. I know. Like it it wasn't too bad. I mean, at least, you know, they do deathmatch kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? Unlike unlike uh WWE. Now, 
the WWE don't do that shit no more. Stop. They they stopped doing hardcore shit years ago. They don't. Sometimes you'll see it once in a while, but it's not like right. how it used to be. It's not like how it used to be. Yeah, I mean, I'd I'd rather see them doing more like deathmatch shit, like AEW. Maybe they would get more sponsors and stuff like that. Just AEW's on top right now, to be honest with you. Just like UFC and boxing, I mean. They're all three of them guys are on top. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not, it's not like WWE. They ain't doing nothing. Yeah, because you you're more into the deathmatch shit, right? Mm-hmm. I'd rather see people get hurt rather so you than want, you want the more realistic shit. Yes, exactly. That's cool because. See, we have some people on the show that are not into deathmatch wrestling, so that's right. kind of that's kind of cool that we can speak to somebody into it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it's I'd rather see people get hurt, just like in the UFC, you know, boxing, MMA. Like I'd I'd rather see kind of like that. You know what I'm saying? Like they would actually get punched in the face and they'd start bleeding, not cutting yourself with a razor blade or, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like I that's what I'd rather see. I just the WWE is becoming faker and faker as time goes on. And I'm glad The Rock came back, but you know, The Rock's doing like a different persona. Each time he's came back, he's done a different persona, which I don't like at all. Yeah, he's trying to change it up to his, like, 03 gimmick again, the Hollywood rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a, he's he's pretending he's Hulk Hogan, you know. So, like I said, I just, I mean, older wrestling, I mean, that's why I like older wrestling rather than newer wrestling. Because older wrestling, they would stick with the same gimmick. Some guys, they change their gimmick too often, and then the fans don't even know whether to cheer or boo them. That does happen. Like It does. Fuck? Too much. Like I'm fucking confused. This guy was just like this bad guy. Now he's a baby face. Now he's heel again. It's like it's too much change. I mean, the acclaimed. I mean, like, look at them. Like, I, I just don't understand with them with all that pink on and this and that you know what i'm saying like they're trying to be like the new the new modern d generation x just more a little bit more perverted or something i don't know i mean adam copeland he's pretty good he's got um singles four and one 401 so i mean he's doing all right which i like I just miss the old days when it was more... I mean, you don't gotta do deathmatch shit, but you can still sell the match and make it look rough. Like, the old shit was way more rough. Right. I mean, it wasn't like... Go ahead. If you go watch, go back and watch ECW, WCW, WWF back in the day, it you could feel the pain. You could see, damn, these guys are really like getting hurt in there. Right. I mean... It's just some of the girl wrestlers, too, in AEW, I mean, they're being stupid, too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at Tony Storm. She thinks she's some, like, 50, like, from, like, the 50s. You know what I'm saying? It's just that's a weird persona to, you know, come through with, you know, when you're a wrestler. You know, so, some people love the new Tony Storm. And I, I don't I don't know if I like it or hate it. I, I don't know yet. I really don't. What are your thoughts on Samoa Joe? Joe is badass. I like him as champ right now. I think he's dope. Yeah, honestly. I mean, he, he's doing all right. Um, I didn't think that Adam Cole. Oh, that fucking uh, the devil angle they got going on with the mask. Yeah, I didn't think that was Adam Cole. Huh. Like it's kind of weird. 
Do you like the the devil thing they're doing there with the devil mask shit? I mean, honestly, I don't like it because it kind of reminds me of like the boogeyman or or like the undertaker kind of or you know like Kane. It's kind of weird. It's like kind of like little, the blue Kane that they got. It's a little too like dark. I don't know what they're doing with that shit. <laughs> I just don't I don't think it fits MJF the devil. Like I don't see the devil in MJF, do you? Like or Adam no, Cole. Not at all. I mean, honestly, I'm glad he played the role, but I mean with MJF being that Adam Cole is his friend, you know what I'm saying? It's it's kinda like it's kinda wrong to do your friend like that. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, if he was a lot more, you know what I'm saying? I wish that MJF would do the devil thing with him, you know? It would make it more um, more realistic, you know what I'm saying? Did did you like uh, Adam, or what was it, fucking Better Than You, Baby? Did you like that shit they did? Yes, I did. Um, I like that better than what he's got now honestly um even though that he's injured and he ain't wrestling right now and i heard he had a kid on the way so i mean i'm glad for him you know what i'm saying so um what are your thoughts on van hoosen van hoosen uh van hoosen he's he kind of reminds me of like a comedy version of sting Honestly, yes. I mean, you know, his career title is like 13 and 8. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, that ain't nothing compared to, like, Dante Martin. He's got 88 to 53. I don't so, know. Like, I guess I could take or leave him. I mean, he's. I don't have a problem with him. I, I never had a problem with Dan Hoosen. Or is, is that how you pronounce his name? Dan Hawson? I don't know. Maybe I'm butchering his name. You are. It's Dan Hoosen. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. How he's, about... Uh, he's, he's cool, though. Brian Keith. He looks like Ice Cube when he was playing the Mexican Ice Cube. That's what he reminds me of. Remember in yeah. Ice Cube's later days or earlier days, he was playing the the um kind of like the three amigos role that's what he yeah. kind of reminds me of honestly how about brian danielson what are your thoughts on him uh brian danielson is one of the greatest wrestlers of all time honestly he is definitely um that dude dude that dude can go anywhere and he's great he can go anywhere and he's awesome rough ass son of a bitch in the ring yeah and even in wwe he was great i mean even cesaro he was good too yeah I cesaro mean, cesaro has always been good even his shit with moxley is really good oh yeah i mean moxley he actually did deathmatch wrestling he had an episode on um on on the TV on the dark side of the ring, he said he was like the most dangerous deathmatch wrestler of all time. Oh, but, so he's like, he, so he's like fucking uh, New Jack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you screwed with his family, you don't want to do that. Like New honestly, Jack, New Jack, <laughs> New Jack was fucking nuts, bro. Like holy shit. Oh yeah. Like Definitely. did did you did you watch all those episodes on Dark Side? Yes. Holy yes, shit. Yes, I did. Like that's a I, really I, that's a really good series. Oh, I know. And like to look at the older wrestlers and what they were doing in the WWE um for you know that they were doing cocaine and other kinds of drugs. Like you notice them and then they they end up dying at the end because you know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't care what they were doing at the time. I mean, honestly, it's it's a really cool story to look at. I mean, 
Um, I just really like some of the older wrestlers, and that's why, because, you know, they're over there fighting people, and they're getting angry in the ring. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like older wrestling. That's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of the legends we grew up with are the back in the day, like, they were so over. They had rough rough childhoods. They grew up differently than the, a lot of the guys now did. Honestly, yes. I mean, I just don't understand why. Here's another wrestler I want to bring up on the show. Um, Logan Paul. That guy is an idiot. <laughs> Every, everybody hates this guy. Why does everybody hate this guy? Because Jake Paul and Logan Paul... All they do is talk. They do this, and then they don't back it up, basically. That's all they all, do is talk. All my friends hate him, and I'm the only one that likes him. Honestly, I don't think he should become. He should have became a wrestler, honestly. To tell you the God's honest to God's truth, I don't think he should have became a wrestler. I think he should have stuck with his YouTube gig. Honestly, um, I just don't understand why his brother is any is fighting Mike Tyson in July. Like, <laughs> seriously, he's going to get his shit rock, basically. I mean, <laughs> you, don't, you don't like him in the ring, though. You don't like any of his matches. I think he's good. I mean, he pulls up in like sweet ass shit. You know what I'm saying? He pulled up in that like off-road vehicle i think it was wasn't it wrestlemania or was it SummerSlam? mania he had a crazy entrance last year i think yeah i mean he he did pretty good i mean i now, think he's like dude i think he's on the level of Shawn michaels in the ring he can do some crazy shit oh i know i mean but i get it though his gimmick ain't for everybody i get it he is a loudmouth little punk bitch i get it i mean he looks like he looks like the lego ninjago series looking guy i mean <laughs> he doesn't look okay he looks like a ninjago character <laughs> he looks like a teenage mutant ninja turtle like <laughs> seriously i mean now one of my favorite wrestlers on the wwe right now my two favorite is seth freaking rollins and gunther now them guys, them guys are badass. Oh, Logan dude, Paul, Gun Gunther's the shit. Gunther's dope. Oh, I know, and he's <laughs> he's held as intercontinental champion for how many days consecutive? I've honestly lost track. It's probably over a, a fucking thousand million days. It, it's one of the longest reignings in history. I mean, honestly, that's kind of crazy, though. He can hold his Intercontinental Championship for that long. Um, honestly, he, like... <laughs> bro, he's he's rough, too. He can chop the shit out of you in the ring. He's rough. Championship holder Gunther has held his um, Intercontinental Championship for 647 days. Holy shit. Like... I have never seen a WWE wrestler held it, held it for more than, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've never seen that. He's got to be, like, even Seth Rollins, when he beat that giant up, like, I, I couldn't believe that either. It's just, Gunther can't be matched with anybody, to tell you the truth. Like, <laughs> see, he's the kind of wrestler I like. He he knows actually knows what the fuck he's doing in the ring, and he knows how to be rough and sell well. Right. Like he's I making mean, it look look like he's about to kick your fucking ass and really fucking do it. Like that's what I like. Right. Kind of like mean, Brock. Le kind of like Lesnar. Brock Lesnar looks like he just destroys you in the ring. I like that. I mean. Honestly, yeah, he's like a new age Brock Lesnar. I mean, you know, to tell you the truth, that's what I think. I mean, I mean he's not like, I mean, he's not like huge like Lesnar, but he can wrestle like 
like an amateur wrestler and kick your fucking ass. Right. That's we stupid. need we need more of that in WWE. We need more guys like that. I'm telling you, if they if they had more guy if, if they had more guys like that in WWE, I'd watch WWE more. And Gunther is kind of like Abdullah the Butcher, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I ha- I have to say because they're they're both a roughhouse kind of guys, and they don't care if they hurt you or not. Honestly, <laughs> like they don't care. Didn't uh, Abdullah the Butcher have? I heard he had like fucking some kind of disease or something. Let me see what I can see here. So, I think he had hepatitis, I think. Give me one second. Um, It has been said that history is written in blood for brutally vicious competitor known as Abdullah the Butcher. These words couldn't be more appropriate. Internationally known as Madman from the Sudan, the 400-pounder has terrorized opponents, officials, and fans. Um, I swear, here. I heard a story he got hepatitis from bleeding so much in the ring. Well, did you see the stuff that he he did to himself in the ring, too? Like, I mean, I've seen some of it. I'm not the biggest Abdullah fan, but I've, I've, I know who the fuck he is. I could tell you who I'm a fan of. Hmm. I would say Mick Foley's up your alley. Yeah, Mick Foley's a great guy, honestly. Um, yeah, he he's he's in that alley right now. Like, I mean, I like Batista too. Oh shit, well. you like Batista? Hell yeah, Batista was my dude. I thought I was the only Batista fan. Some people shit on Batista, like, oh, he wasn't that good. Bullshit. Batista was entertaining. I mean, yeah, Batista was big and bulky and he was kind of slow, but he actually made the match look believable to me. Right. I mean, it's kind of like Goldberg. I mean, Goldberg that... was Goldberg was cool back in the day. Yes, definitely. Um What about uh Sabu? You like Sabu? Yeah, he was great. I mean, honestly, he was a good guy. I mean, he was a good wrestler, all in all. Uh, Dude, his his matches with Rob Van Dam were fucking sweet. Right. See, that was my kind of hardcore guy. I liked RVD. Mm Mm-hmm. Plus, he's from Michigan. How about Doink the Clown? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, oh, he was a... Doink the Clown. Well, I've got called a clown. I got called a clown before. Yeah, he was cool. How about Donald Trump? You think he was a good wrestler? <laughs> uh, well, he did the WrestleMania 23 thing with Vince. That was kind of funny. I kind of like, you know, some of them guys, you know, you, you never think they're a wrestler. Like, honestly. How about Gobbledy the Gooker? Uh, <laughs> that he would dress up as a chicken and run out in the ring. Uh, that's probably stupid to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know, like, like some comedy shit I like, but then other comedy shit's stupid to me. Right. I mean, like, some of it's just corny. Like, no, this is dumb. It is, honestly. Um, Honestly, like, let me ask you was, this: what What's your favorite weapon in deathmatch? What's your weapon of choice? I'd say a light bulb. Light bulbs. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> honestly, um, light bulbs are kind of my thing. If you gotta hit somebody in the head with that, they're going down. Um, I don't know if they're made out of some kind of like candy glass, but it seems real when they wrestle with them. To be honest with you, um, yeah, I would say yeah. me. I would say now I'm more of a hardcore guy. So would you consider thumbtacks and barbed wire deathmatch? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, 
<laughs> like, seriously. Like, if you're being thrown on barbed wire, I don't know if the barbed wire is actually plastic. Have you been through that exactly? I mean, I did the indies back in the day, uh, and um, the barbed wire we used was fucking real. We used barbed wire. Real. It was real? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I mean, I, I'd want to be throwing on it, but... um. Honestly, if you're if you're using barbed wire and <laughs> you're just being thrown on there, <laughs> your back's got to be hurting. <laughs> I mean, th- there was a match though where they shaved off the edges of it, but it made it we made it look like it was sharp. Right. Some guys do that; they'll shave off the edges. Like right now, I think edges have spike, and he's like carved off the nails to make it. I don't fucking know. But most of the time, for the wrestlers I've seen, they use real barbed wire. Oh, yeah. I mean, I like some the pe- real barbed wire. Some people forget that. They're like, oh, you, you did backyard wrestling. I'm like, we all did backyard wrestling, but I also did the indies. Right. <laughs> I mean, you seen my matches, right? you seen some of my shit. Yeah. They, you, you do pretty good. I mean, honestly, in the ring. I gotta do a skit right here. You with me? <laughs> like this whole talk of, well, you've never been in the business. You know, we got people on our show, and but, dude, uh, obviously, if you want to talk about facts here, okay, uh, I've actually worked the indies. Yeah. Yeah, that's who I was gonna. That's who I was gonna say. Terry Funk. Oh fuck yeah. Definitely. I mean, <laughs> like he was the greatest wrestler. I mean, honestly, you know, he dude, did it. bro, Terry Funk and Foley are like two of the greatest hardcore guys ever. Definitely. I mean, like, Nick, uh, Mick Foley is is great. I mean, the match with him and Undertaker, where he jumped off of the off of the steel cage into the bottom with him and Undertaker, that was badass. Like, honestly, I mean, you know, you're you're taking like a probably two foot like smaller than the Undertaker, and you're going down, and he had some weight on him, and uh, you're taking like a six foot nine guy down with you. I mean, <laughs> they're ha- hell in the cell match, man. Back in the Attitude Era, that was no joke. Oh yeah, no, I mean. I'm surprised Mick Foley is still alive. Because a Dude, lot you know, of the, you know what's cool ahead. is that that was on June 28th. That's my daughter's birthday. How badass is that? Definitely. I mean, <laughs> that is pretty badass. Like, I mean, I'm not the type to remember dates and times. I'm not fucking perfect, but that I remember. Right. I mean, he, they that is, <laughs> them two did a pretty good uh, wrestling match. Um. Honestly, dude, he fell no. through. Dude, he fell through the fucking top of it, like to the ring. Like, holy shit! Right. It was a pretty good uh, match, honestly. It was kind of like a uh, ready to rumble. It's kind of like the match at the end of that movie, where Diamond Dallas Page um, struck the bottom of the ring. Yeah, with the the triple cage. Yeah, that's kind of what that reminds me of. You know, oh. um, you know, that, he actually has, he's got a match with triple H where he falls through the fucking ring. You ever know that? Really? Yeah. He actually falls through the ring th- off the cell, like in the ring. Oh my God. What is it? Man, they they better have put a cushion under there. Cause... <laughs> like... I'm sure I, th- I think it broke his fucking tailbone. Honestly. I mean, I haven't seen the match yet. I'm going to have to look at it. But seriously, I mean, that pretty it, that'd be a pretty badass match. Oh, uh, what was the date of the match exactly? Well, that that was an underrated match. Nobody talks about Triple H versus Foley cuz the Undertaker one kind of overshadows it. Mhm. I want to say it was 2000. Let me check it up. Royal Rumble 2000. I believe. No, that wasn't their Hell in the Cell, was it? I don't know. Was I'm it? not 
Um, no. it might have been. That but no, that I, was. I, hold up, that was the street fight. They had two matches. They had that street fight. That was a kick-ass match too. Oh yeah, that was kind of like our truth with uh, <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, that match he pedigreed him on thumbtacks. He had thumbtacks sticking out of his skull. It was nuts. Oh man. That match was brutal. Jeez. If you ever have time, watch that shit, dude. I'm definitely going to, to be honest with you. Um, that would be a pretty badass match to see. Um uh like seriously. <laughs> You're getting thumbtacks thrown in your skull. You're definitely gonna have some problems later on that night. <laughs> Like seriously. <laughs> so the the hell in the cell that was at No Way Out two thousand. Was it? Okay, so yeah. I was right. Okay. That good. was a, that one. That one's kind of underrated. Nobody talks about it for some reason. Why not? I think it's because everybody talks about the Undertaker one, so like people forgot about the Triple H match. No, it's kind of. That Facebook video that I sent you, now that was pretty badass. One of Triple H's entrances, like that was pretty badass. WrestleMania 31, I want to say that was? Yeah, 31. Yep, and I like how uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger um, came on the tele and said, get ready for WrestleMania. Like that was badass, honestly. Honestly, WrestleMania 31, that's one of the better new WrestleManias they ever did. Right. I mean, if you look, I mean, I, mean, I fucking, I love, think? I'm a big Terminator fan, so I love Terminator. Oh, so do I. I mean, I, I just can't believe Arnold Schwarzenegger never became a wrestler. I mean, <laughs> to tell you the truth, because <laughs> he was buff like that. I mean, he could have became a wrestler. And I've even talked to my dad about this a few times, too. Like, Arnold could have became a wrestler. He could have. Well, he is in the WWE Hall of Fame because he did a couple stints with them back in the Attitude Era. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he but he never got in the ring and actually did matches. No. I could see him doing it, though. Couldn't you? I mean, seriously. I mean, not, not anymore, but back in the day, hell yeah. Oh yeah. After now, he got his nowadays he'd have a fucking heart attack. He's so old. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's still he's still exercising though. I mean, he's still bodybuilding. You know? Like it's it's kind of weird. Honestly, if you're bodybuilding at that age, you know, just like older wrestlers, they're still bodybuilding. You know? I would say back in the 80s and 90s, Sylvester Stallone and Arnold were two of the legends back then. Oh, yes, definitely. Um, like, fucking Rambo, bro. Rambo and Terminator, two of the coolest. Honestly, like, and he even him, too. Sylvester Stallone could have wrestled. I mean... Did you, did you see Rambo Last Blood? That movie's pretty brutal. Oh, I know, dude. That was brutal than his first movie. That was more brutal than his first movie. Like to that, be honest. the the fucking end when he rips that guy's heart out. Oh, that shit. Was <laughs> that shit was brutal. Oh my god, I I I seen that and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> like this looks like some like death match shit. Like seriously, like the I've never. Of- seen- the ma- the movie was called Last Blood, so hopefully I don't know if that's the last one or what. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna do another one or not. Now, talking about boxing, who do you think is gonna win that um that match between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson? Honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know jack shit about boxing, so I don't. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think uh, Mike Tyson's gonna win. I mean, <laughs> wait. I mean, you hold, could... hold up. Mike Tyson's is back or re- boxing still? 
Yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't I didn't know that. <laughs> like I think he's gonna whoop his ass right, you know, like in July. I mean he's <laughs> I, I like, thought he was retired. What the fuck? No. He still wants to do it. Well, it's an exhibition match. So basically nobody goes on to like a title reign or anything like that. Is he gonna bite somebody's fucking fucking ear off? Is he gonna do that again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, there was this uh, there was this YouTube video. It had uh, it had him giving uh that one boxer's ear back. It's your ear. <laughs> it's a Christmas present. Who who is, <laughs> who is he facing? Um, uh, Jake Paul. All right, let me look this up. <laughs> it's supposed to be in July. <laughs> I, I I'm living under a fucking rock because I never even heard of this shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Don't you watch Facebook all the time? I do, but I never really see shit about boxing on there. I don't see shit about boxing. I mean, honestly, I I think it's just a stunt. But I mean, if it's actually true, I want to watch this. Wait, is Jake Paul, is he related to Logan Paul at all or no? Yes, they're brothers. Oh, my, oh my God. See, yep. I, I, didn't even, I didn't even know this shit. This is news. That's new wow. to you? This is news to me. I don't know anything about boxing or what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dude, God. You didn't... Dude, I, I might have to watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> like honestly Holy I think Mike Mike Tyson's gonna kick Jake Paul's ass. <laughs> like I'm not even gonna lie. He's gonna bite his ear off, then he's gonna beat his ass. <laughs> now, is J- hold up, is Jake Paul is he any good? Now I talked to my cousin about this and he said yes, he's pretty good. I mean he's in his prime still so I mean, he is pretty good. I did watch a few of his matches, and I don't like his style, honestly. Um, to tell you the truth, I don't like his style at all. Um, See, I I thought since like fucking UFC and MMA took over, nobody watches boxing anymore. That's what I thought. Oh yeah, there's like mil- billions of people that watch boxing. I mean, you know, even though that UFC and MMA took over, um billions of people still watch boxing i mean it's just something to like bet on you know what i'm saying it's kind of like football baseball hockey um i've just have you ever seen anybody betting on wrestling well wrestling is fucking fixed it's fixed and fucking rigged so not really i mean honestly if i could bet on wrestling (laughs) I could probably make a lot of money. Uh, I heard the FanDuel is, they might let WWE on there soon, FanDuel. I just hope Gunther is fighting. Only time I was betting was when they do football. Football games are fun to bet. Now, you were talking with me about that new football that The Rock does. Um, Oh, you... UFL slash XFL? Yes. What are your thoughts on that? The UF well, UFL is supposed to be starting in about a week or so. But before it was just XFL, but they merged with the USFL. So that's cool. They're kind of coming together. I think that's cool. Um, I mean, (laughs) a lot of people fucking shit on XFL. They act like it sucks. I don't think it sucks at all. I think it's way more entertaining than NFL. I think it's way fucking better like ha- have you watched xfl that shit's sweet i mean i've only watched a few of the games but it was it was sweet either way i mean like they're actually hitting people and you know making them cry when they get off the field like that's just that's some that's some good football Dude, the fucking fans get nuts too. They're throwing lemons. They were throwing like lemons on the fucking field the last game I watched. 
It's kind of like, like the octopuses in the in the Red Wings. Like, <laughs> that's what that reminds me of. Dude, they're they're sitting there cussing and swearing at the players and doing flips in midair. I'm like, dude, how how are people shitting on this? This shit's sweet. It's kind of like the Harlem Globetrotters. Yeah. Like. And- <laughs> And they're they're doing it they're doing it after NFL goes off off TV, so it's not like they got to compete with NFL, you know. Right. I mean, honestly, like they they should just take NFL off. <laughs> Dude, there's way less play calls too. They just let the player. It's kind of like old school football, less play calls and shit. It's kind of like a like backyard football, honestly. I mean. If you want to put it that way. Well, I'm I'm hearing they're kind of like a developmental for NFL too, so that's kind of cool. I mean, if they can move the NFL players to XFL, I would be hoping for the best for that. I mean, it's kind of like the WWE and the AEW. I mean, hopefully the WWE wrestlers go to AEW because sooner or later WWE is going to end up shutting down well yeah if wwe gets lamer and lamer more people will start watching uh, aew i mean that's kind of like nxt more yeah, people are watching it. more people like nxt because it's more rough and rugged right and it's kind of like aew like all you hear them saying and AEW is fuck you, fuck this, boo this, boo that. I mean, that's what I want to hear. Yeah, they want to do adult programming. It's not always about the little kids watching. What about people our age and shit? We want adult programming. Right. We want like kind of like Family Guy, South Park kind of look. Like that's what we want. I got to be told honest. Reason- People are saying I live in the past. I need to fucking grow up and accept the puss- pussified era of wrestling. No, I'm not fucking accepting that. No, it's kind of like ghost of face. I mean, look at him. He's an idiot. <laughs> telling me, telling us that AEW sucks. <laughs> yeah, AEW is garbage. It's a bunch of flip garbage. They do hardcore blood. Dude, what is wrong with Hardcore and Blood? That's fucking sweet. I'm going to call out Ghost of Face right now. I'm going to say he's a moron, okay? And I hope you get him on here one of these days, and I'm on here on your stream, and I can say to him, he's an idiot. Because guess what? We need more AEW wrestling. That's what we need. We, we need more NXT. We need more AEW. Oh, you're talking about fuck it. You're talking about Ghost Friend, that idiot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> Wasn't first, he on your? <laughs> at first, I'm like, who the fuck is he talking about? I'm like, oh, Ghost Friend. <laughs> that fucking, that fucking idiot. He's I like, was watching. AEW's garbage. I love WWE. I'm like, this guy's a moron. Is that you? No, it ain't me. That's some idiot. I don't know who that is. <laughs> so is it just some guy that wanted to be invited in your stream? <laughs> like, <laughs> I guess, I guess he comes around October Halloween time harassing me. Hey, tell him to stop harassing you. <laughs> like seriously, like <laughs> that's kind of like um, it's kind of like uh, MJF and um, Adam Cole. Like, that's what that kind of reminds me of with the demon, the devil. Like, he comes around harassing you in October. (laughs) I like that. Fuck fuck him and fuck those idiots. Right. (laughs) Now, is your friend uh, joining? What's that? Go ahead. Is your friend joining the stream at all? No, he's at work right now. He's working. Damn. Yeah, eventually we got to do like a a three way talking about wrestling. Honestly, that that'd be great, man. That would be awesome. Um, I was gonna to ask. Honest, 
Do you ever watch TNA? Do you ever get into TNA? Um, not really. I haven't watched it in a while. I mean, I get in. I get into it when it's good. You know what I'm saying? Like, did like, you watch it when it was a uh, fucking Impact Wrestling? Did you watch it in those years? Yes. Yes, I did. Um, honestly, I think it's. It's all the same between the three wrestling groups. Um, TNA is just like NXT and AEW. Yeah, they're kind of like the low, low, low budget, low end. Right, like anybody can join. Like, <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what people don't understand. It's like, see, I like the underdogs. I like the low end products. I feel like. They put on better wrestling, you know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, it's kind of like the wrestling you were in. I mean, it's a low end, you know, like low budget. Like, hey, we set up like four mats and we put them together and we set up poles with strings on them. Like, I like that stuff better, well, honestly. Uh, in the backyard days, yeah, that's how it was. <laughs> <laughs> like you'd set up four mats and then you. You'd get in there and just like, oh yeah. <laughs> like, some, I mean, people honestly, forget, some people forget fucking CM Punk was backyard, so was the Hardy Boys and shit. Right. They were more like hood hood wrestling, like it wasn't no joke. Like well, they'd be they getting had, hit with they they had a dream though. How are you gonna hate on somebody's dream, you know? Mm-hmm. And some people are like, backyard's garbage. It's like, okay, well, I, I worked my way up to the indies, too, so shut up. Right. I mean, I, even though you didn't make a lot of money, but you were still a wrestler. I, I mean, I, honestly, bro, I did it for the love of it. I, I didn't even want to, I didn't want a dollar. I didn't want 10 bucks, 20 bucks. I did it because I loved wrestling. Now, could you get paid for it? Yeah, you get paid like maybe twenty bucks, but that ain't shit. No, I'd Just rather see about, dirt track. Think, like, think about it, bro. Ahead. The whole you got the entire roster, right? You got to pay everybody, so they can only afford to give you ten, twenty bucks a match. Right. I mean, I mean that ain't too bad. Money's money. It, it adds yeah. up. You know, you gotta put that in your gas tank for gas. Right. <laughs> it adds up. Honestly, I think I would do good with it. I mean, now, if I was set up where I can do it and a lot of people were doing it in their backyards, I could probably do it, honestly. Yeah, because you asked me, you're like, dude, can you train me? I'm like, well, I, I could train you in a backyard. I could train you in the back. But I just take, like, I'll tell you this, though. Taking bumps on the dirt sucks. It sucks. Oh, I, I bet. I bet. I mean, <laughs> you may, you know, like, I mean, but pretty... other than bumps, I mean, you can teach somebody anything in the backyard. You can teach them how to lock up, how to do headlocks correctly, you know, basic shit. Right. I how mean, to, with me, how, I'm a how hard to work a match, how, how to sell, right? How to you know, shine, beat down, comeback, finish, basic shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'd be pretty badass to do, man, honestly. Like, that wouldn't be just, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to make it to the WWE, to tell you the truth. I mean, nobody's going to. Well, making it to the WWE is like selling your soul to the devil. Exactly. It's kind of like a music artist. Same yeah, thing. Yeah, like a re fucking record labels. <laughs> right i mean you know wwe isn't gonna last that long and you know this is what i wanted to talk about on your live stream too i mean honestly people that love the wwe i have to say to them it ain't gonna last too long um, well here's the here's the thing with wwe dude they're living off of their legacy they're, they they want to be like marvel they want to be the corporate company, and like that's what I kind of like don't like about them. Mm -hmm. It's like I get it. Back in the day, you were the shit, 
but the new stuff is not for people our age. Like right. it's it's oh I mean WWE it's okay. The lights and I get it, it looks all fancy and they put on some good pay per views, but watching Raw and SmackDown, I can't I can't get into it like I used to, you know? Right. It's not the it, same. They're not doing edgy programming. They're they're not being rough anymore. They're it's not must watch television like Ruthless Aggression and Attitude Era. Right. It's it's not like any of those, you know, like back in the day, like WWF was good. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, it's just the WWE is just worldwide entertainment. That's all it is. Just entertaining. They're sports entertainment. They don't want to do anything too offensive anymore. And it's it's too, we don't want to be, uh, uh, raunchy programming. It's like, well, that's what I grew up with. That's what I like, though. <laughs> right. You know, it's like See, I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch a fucking Disney show. Right. That's what it feels like. And then, you know, remember, remember that uh, WrestleMania when John Cena came out with like two thousand John Cena guys dressed up like John Cena. I mean, that's kind of what that is. It's a Disney Channel. <laughs> it's all it is. Like they they should put their their wrestling on the Disney Channel. To be honest with you, I mean, honestly, bro, if Disney bought them out, it wouldn't shock me. <laughs> I was like, just laughing. like USA. I mean, with SmackDown and Raw, Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown, it just it doesn't do them any good i mean mean, their rating their ratings are decent right now i heard and people still love it but it's usually like a different um audience than our kind of people you know what i mean right but i mean i haven't heard them doing bad but if people get tired of it and want to watch something different eventually they could I don't know. I heard AEW killed off uh, NXT a re- uh, couple years ago. They did better than them <laughs> NXT. Really? Yeah, they they killed off NXT. AEW did the fir- the first round. I'm glad. To tell you the truth. Because huh. they they were they were on the the same night, NXT and AEW, and they they destroyed uh fucking NXT for a while. And then they oh. had to make, then they had to fucking make NXT 2.0, and that sucked. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, <laughs> NXT is just like I said, same thing, AEW. I mean, look at the Usos. What are your thoughts on them? Usos are considered one of the best tag teams of all time. I don't I don't know if they're one of the best of all time, but I I think them with the bloodline, their bloodline shit was really fucking good. <laughs> Did you see that thing where um Randy Rhodes called uh calls the rock Roman Reigns side chick? No, I I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> you gotta watch that because he, he he literally called out the rock like <laughs> he wasn't playing like i mean it's kind of like cm punk coming back i mean that's what it reminds me of um to be honest like when the rock came back to fight with his three brothers i mean that that was kind of like cm punk coming back um, th- them them two should have never came back. Dude, CM Punk is only in WWE is because he get, became a crybaby in AEW and fucking got fired. Oh, he got fired? Yeah, dude, that's literally the only reason he's in WWE, because he got fired. How do you get fired from... <laughs> How do you get fired it was this incident he got mad because some guy called him out on his shit and he's like you know i can kick your ass right because he didn't want to use a uh, real glass in a match because 
I'm not using real glass. And some guy made fun of him. And he, he I think he su- a sucker punched him in the back or something. Ooh. Let me guess so that he, guy th- threw him. He became him. such a fucking crybaby. Now he's in WWE. I'm home, you guys. I'm home. I'm like, what a little bitch. <laughs> It's kind of like Drew McIntyre. It's, <laughs> I mean, dude, they they gave him everything in AEW. They gave him the belt and everything, and he wasn't happy. It's like, how are you not happy? What the fuck, man? man I'd be happy. <laughs> like he didn't even have to do anything, and he got the belt. Honestly, yeah. like, what did what did you even do in AEW? I don't, I can't remember it much. <laughs> no, all he did is he wore his little uh, his hand bands like, <laughs> look at me. I mean, he didn't do nothing. I had I didn't even see him in one match. Like he I was at there, home. I, th- I think he had some good pay per view matches. He had some brutal pay per view matches, but like that was it. I don't remember. No. I think he had a good match. I, I think he had a good match with MJF. They did some crazy bloody. I don't know. It was something hardcore. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I can't remember the match. I'm sorry. I I don't fucking remember everything. You know, the haters out there. I gotta get everything perfect. No, I I, I don't care about them haters. They can hate all they want. All they're hating on is that AEW is better than WWE. That's all I gotta say. Nothing. Well, like seriously. We- we get criticized on the show if we don't remember dates and times and stupid shit like that. Now, did you watch that new movie yet at all? Did you go see that new movie in theaters about the Von Erichs? That was in the theater? Yeah. The fuck? Yep. I, thought that was straight, I thought that was going straight to, like, Blu-ray or DVD. No. Was it good? Yeah. I mean, I didn't see it, so I wouldn't know because the the movie theater is too expensive. <laughs> so I don't go there, <laughs> you know. Talking about the Iron Claw. Yes. I seen a trailer for it. It looks very interesting, but no. Because I, honestly, like I'm more of a, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like dramas and documentary stuff, but I'm more of a comedy guy. That's why you ever see Ready to Rumble? Yeah. See, like Ready to Rumble is more my style of movie. I mean, I do like dramas, but I feel like, I don't know. It's like, I like replay value. Like what would I really go and back and watch it over and over? I don't Probably I'd rather watch Ready to Rumble. Honestly. Um, yeah, because, like, remember the movie The Wrestler? You ever see that? Yes. Great movie, great, but it's really depressing and, like, really sad. So it's like, I don't feel myself going back and keep watching it. Yes. I mean, honestly, Ready to Rumble, it has some of the greatest wrestlers, though. Like, Diamond Dallas Page with his DDP act, um, you had Goldberg, Sting, like, those were three of, good, of the greatest. A lot of good cameos in that movie, a lot of good ones. Oh, yeah. I, I was telling somebody earlier, I'm like, you know, some people say that movie was corny and shit. I thought it had emotion. I thought it had emotion, heart, comedy. It had a good story. I I loved Ready to Rumble. I know. I mean, <laughs> I like um, at the end of the film where it's a, the dad goes, blow his ass out. Like, <laughs> like yeah. that was pretty funny. And he didn't want his son becoming a wrestler. And guess what happened? Then he became a fucking wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> like, he came out in the cop uniform looking like a. Not Sergeant Slaughter, but the guy who would dress up like a cop. That's what he I'll, looked like. I'll I'll never get tired of that movie. That movie's a classic to me. I grew up with that shit. Right. He 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 kind of looked like Sergeant Slaughter, but he did actually wrestle though. Yeah. 
which was kind of crazy. Like, you would never think he would wrestle David Arquette, but he did. Oh, he's he's tattooed up, too. He's padded everywhere and shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's a great actor, too. Oh, yeah. But he did, I, I always he, liked him. He's cool. He did more of, like, your kind of style and my kind of style of wrestling, like, deathmatch shit. Like, he didn't do, like, pussified shit. What about uh, fighting with my family? That was a good one. I can go back and watch that. Mm-hmm. The the page one that was a good movie. Yep. See that that kind of had like emotion, but it, it had comedy in it too. Right. Um. How about that one movie with Hulk Hogan? Oh fucking! Well, he did a bunch <laughs> of '90s flicks though back in the day. Did didn't he do the nanny one? What the fuck was it? <laughs> Um, he also did Rocky. He was in Rocky. Rocky 3. Yeah, yeah Rocky 3, he did great. And then he did that. What the fuck was that? Bionic Commando, whatever the fuck it was. Did you ever hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. He did not that. By, I can't remember the fucking name of this. Now you gotta look it up. <laughs> so, oh, Suburban Commando. That was fucking. I, I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> like <laughs> that was pretty funny. I like that movie. I, I seen this way back in the nineties and I haven't watched it in like thirty fucking years. I gotta go back and rewatch that. Now did you hear Hulk Hogan came out with a vape? That motherfucker vapes? No, he came out with one. I think I sent you a picture of it. Um I can't remember if I did or didn't. Now, did he actually design this shit? Yes. He did. It says Hulkamania. <laughs> like, if you go on his website, I think it has his, <laughs> his shop. Like, <laughs> like, you got to look up this. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Now, did he I actually mean, have something to do with this, though? Like, he actually, like, or did just some company make it? No, he actually had something to do with it. That's funny, because he don't even fucking vape. <laughs> he, just wants, he, he just wants money and shit. Right. Hulk Hogan signed WWE winged eagle replica belt. $650. Fuck oh, my that. God. I'm, I'm a cheap ass. I'll only pay like 200 for a belt. No. I'd only I, pay I, like... Two dollars. Go to Walmart and get one. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, so you're right. you're being like the old the old buddies over uh, over there. <laughs> yeah, like two dollars for a ball, like twenty four ninety nine. Here you go. Like, well, like I, that would... I, I got the winged eagle. I got it. I got a real winged eagle. Do you? But mine, mine's real. It's real gold, but it was made from like a different country. It wasn't sold on WWE.com. So it was actually from a real. Where did you get it from? eBay. <laughs> Anything's on eBay. Everything. Anything and everything. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the fucking description said real gold, though. It said real gold, real leather. It's actually made better than the WWE shop one. Oh my god. And you know what's dope is it says WWF on it, not fucking WWE. Yeah, here it is. Hulk Hogan's Hulkamaniac disposals. Look that up. You have to look this up. Like <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> like you're gonna like this. Hulk Hogan disposable. Let's check this out. Oh shit. Well, that's different. <laughs> I just seen you smoking a vape, so I figured I'd, I'd show you it. Yeah, I'm a big vapor. Yeah, so am I. Fucking chain vapors. 
instead of smoking a chain, um, <laughs> like chain cigarettes between. Dude, like, I, I, I like vaping, dude. I, I like it. Chills me out. I like it. Some like people smoking. are like, oh, some people are like, oh, it's bad for you. Oh, the ca-. dude, compared to cigarettes, it ain't shit. I mean, at least they have flavored. I mean, a cigarette only comes in one flavor, like <laughs> tobacco. <laughs> look up uh, on YouTube if if people think vaping is so bad. Look up, uh, I believe he's called Vape Insider. He's a good YouTube channel. He goes through like t- ca- talking about the myths of vaping, how it's a lot. There's a lot of myths about it, a lot of bullshit. What is it and- called? Vape insider he is. He he actually talks facts about vaping and how a lot of people are down in it and it's a bunch of bullshit. How there's way less chemicals, how it's actually way safer for you and all. You know, he goes into it. I mean, honestly, people, people vape inside of a store. <laughs> I mean, like... We're not we're not saying it's like healthy, but it's better than a normal cigarette is what we're saying. Right, and it tastes better. It's got chemical well, not really like all the chemical cigarettes have, but it has uh nicotine, but nicotine alone doesn't cause cancer. It's nicotine with all the chemical bullshit is what causes cancer. Right. And a lot of people don't understand. They don't understand vaping and all that shit. You're going to get popcorn lung. That's bullshit, too. (laughs) I haven't got it yet. I don't even know what that is. (laughs) Another another fucking myth about it. Right. Another myth. Subscribe to that. Subscribe to that channel, though, Vape Insider. That's a good channel. I might have to do that. I only got 10, 10 subscribers on my channel. Hey, man, you got to work your way up. I mean, it's all good. I mean, dude, I, I started off with fucking 10 and shit, and look at me now. I mean, honestly, I might just make my channel about, like, WWE news and stuff like that. That'd be cool. Didn't you, you subscribe to... to my channel? Yeah, I'm subscribed. Okay. Hey, you shouted me out. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> I was sitting on my swing shouting you out. <laughs> you want to you wanna advertise it right now? You can advertise it right now. Really? Yeah, what, what's your YouTube? My YouTube is the the great. How do you spell it? The and then the great. Is there any numbers or any weird stuff? Two seven the... three zero. Check out the great two seven three zero on YouTube, everybody. You better do it too, or I'm gonna take you in a hell in a cell match at WrestleMania. <laughs> Blood and thumbtacks. <laughs> Blood and thumbtacks. Dude, I've also, I've never done I've never done a death match, but I kind of I I kind of want to one day, maybe. Oh, also, guys, check out AJ the Lizard. That's my cousin. Um, he's real good. You got to go check out his videos too. Um. Oh yeah. So. Subscribe to him. Subscribe, bitches. <laughs> like right now. Right here, right now. <laughs> Subscribe, bitches. Uh, we know a lot of bitches. Yeah, we know a lot of those. Yeah, exactly. Dude, I'm not even joking. I got called a bitch earlier. By who? I ain't going to say names, but I got called a bitch. I'm going to say to him right now, 
Whoever called this man a bitch, he's not a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, they they didn't they didn't like shout they didn't say my name, so I can't really say it was like you know, but they, they were implying I'm a bitch. Oh, yeah, they did they say your YouTube channel? No, no. They were just like, oh, they were talking about us and they're like, you know, you're a crybaby bitch. I'm like, you're the one that started the shit. You started it. What are you talking about? Right. My thing is, dude, I, I don't start shit with anybody. I'm just I'm just joking around. This is just sports talk. I ain't, you know. Like you ain't out there just talking crap about people. No, I'm just I'm I'm just replying to what you said, and if, you, if someone's starting shit poking the bear, I'm gonna say some shit back, you know. Right. Like I I don't start shit. I don't. I just hear stuff and I reply. That's it. Right. So, I'm I'm a chill guy. I don't I don't do all that. I ain't got time for that shit, bro. No, you really don't. Like, like I, got we're kid, doing. I got kids. I'm an adult. I ain't got time for internet drama garbage. I mean, we can talk wrestling. Hell yeah, wrestling drama all day. I did a um, me and my cousin. We were we were screwing with this guy that we know. We've been long time friends with him. And we go and I go, I found an S T D and I put it on a short I put him on a short and it goes, Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking cunt. Suck my dick. God. <laughs> Crazy. I know. Seriously. Sure, I mean, we pretty much went over everything. I mean, we talked about when you became a fan, WWE and AEW. You prefer the old shit. Over the new shit. I mean, that's pretty much all I had. Uh, I mean, my battery's getting low, so unfortunately, we probably got to end this show in a minute. All but right. I I appreciate you coming on the PowerCast, bro. Okay. Shooting the shit, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. No, and I appreciate you uh, appreciate you inviting me on. And um, next time, um, I hope we can do more of these and uh, definitely get back on the way, you know. Um, I'm definitely going to be editing, editing my YouTube channel soon. To do like WWE news and you know and AEW and stuff like that. So maybe if I can get you on my channel, you know, that'd be cool. Yeah. So now are you are are you gonna do like podcasting? Or are you gonna do just like solo or? I mean, I'm gonna do a little bit of both, basically. Okay. So, so I'm gonna get you on, and then hopefully pretty soon here. I can have more subscribers. Um, I just hope everybody subscribes um, now that I said something. Um, I just hope. I just oh, hope. Now, you do. Fucking nowadays, uh, I heard TikTok's dying. TikTok's going downhill. So <laughs> It's kind of like WWE. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'll, we'll shoot the shit, bro. All right. Thanks, Carlos. I appreciate you and um, hope you have a great day, you guys. And um, stay on, man. Stay up, bro. Have a good one. Thank you. See ya. Well, everybody, that was the PowerCast Progression Radio with Power with our boy Jacob. If you guys enjoyed the video, we will be back with future episodes. Radio with Power. See you next time. Peace. The Power Cast Progression.